Hello students. Today's video is an introduction to progesterone. That is what is progesterone. We'll talk about natural endogenous progesterone and synthetic progesterone which is termed as progestins. Further, we will see to the classification of progestins. So, progesterone is an endogenous steroidal hormone and 10 to 20 mg per day of progesterone is produced in the woman from corpus luteum in the ovary. Now, around 1 to 5 mg of progesterone is produced in men from adrenal glands and testes. However, its function in men is not known. So, progesterone is primarily produced by corpus luteum in the body of a woman. Now, as we all know, endometrium is the innermost lining of uterus and it is the estrogen that proliferates endometrium. And progesterone converts estrogen primed endometrium to secretory and thus maintains pregnancy. So, progesterone increases blood flow to endometrium and it also increases secretion from endometrial glands and therefore its main function is to maintain pregnancy. Now, progesterone is an agonist of progesterone receptors. It is primarily known as pregnancy hormone in females. Now, progesterone is rapidly metabolized in the liver. Thus, it is inactive orally and thus synthetic progesterones have been developed. Now, these synthetic progesterones are termed as progestins. Thus, progestins are synthetic steroidal hormones that activate progesterone receptors similar to natural progesterone. Now, progestins are commonly used as contraceptives. They are used as a hormone replacement therapy and they are also used in the management of dysfunctional uterine bleeding. Uh, now, let's uh, see to the classification of progestins. Progestins are classified as progesterone derivatives and 19 not testosterone derivatives. Now, progesterone derivatives are pure progestins. They exhibit weak anti-ovulatory action and these are used primarily as uh, adjuvant uh, to estrogen in hormone replacement therapy that is in HRT for the, for the uh, post-menopausal woman. Now, very important to know, very important to understand that progesterone counteracts the risk of endometrial carcinoma that is associated with estrogen and therefore progesterone is combined with estrogen. Now, examples of progesterone derivatives are medroxyprogesterone acetate, hydroxyprogesterone caproid, megestrol acetate. Now, 19 nor testosterone derivatives are potent uh, progestins. And they also exhibit potent anti-ovulatory action and thus they are used uh, primarily in contraceptive pills either alone or in combination with estrogen. Now combined contraceptive pills that is those containing estrogen and progesterone they are more efficacious. Now older 19 non-testosterone derivatives they also exhibit weak androgenic activity. Now, this androgenic activity is almost absent in the newer compounds. Now, example of older compounds are, for example, norathendron, levonorgastrel, then linastrenol, then allylastrenol. Examples of uh, new uh, compounds of uh, uh, 19 nor testosterone derivatives are desogastrel, then norgastimate, gastrodine. So this is in brief on progesterone and its uh, derivatives. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.